Thank you. I'm Larry Wickstrom, the State Geologist of Ohio, Chief of the Division of Geological Survey. This is a map of the Marcellus. This is a regional map of the Marcellus showing the thickness of the unit. Over here in Pennsylvania is where the main trend is going, drilling the Marcellus. It's greater than 75 feet in most places where it's very productive. As we, that unit comes into Ohio, we lose that thickness. We're down to less than 50 feet very quickly in Ohio. We don't expect to see much drilling in Marcellus because of that out of the southeasternmost portion of the state. The Utica Point Pleasant formations, though, are a whole other story. With an end, regionally, we have areas as great as 900 feet thick down in Pennsylvania. However, where that's present, at that thickness, it's going to be 14,000 plus feet deep. Here in Ohio, we've got the unit greater than 150 feet to 300 feet thick over most of the state. And it's very drillable depths, about 3,500 feet here, 10,000 feet maximum in southeastern most Ohio. This unit, from all the work that we've looked at geochemically, shows that we're going to have dry gas being produced in the deeper portion of the basin, natural gas liquids along with natural gas in this portion of the state, and then as we move into central Ohio, we're going to have more and more oil produced from that unit, where it's going to be an oil-dominant unit. This is what makes this unit so important for the economy of the state also, is the natural gas liquids and the oil. Natural gas prices are rather soft. Natural gas liquids prices track with oil about 60% of the price of oil. <coughs> On top of that, natural gas liquids are the primary feedstock petrochemical industries such as plastics. We have a huge plastics industry in the U.S. However, most of that feedstock industry has gone offshore. Now we can bring it back. Likewise, with affordable natural gas, other industries that have fled the state, such as fertilizer industry, can now have cheap feedstock and come back to the state. So you see that the value chain goes throughout. It's not just drilling oil and gas. It's all throughout the economy that this is going to benefit. Okay?